Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back to do another weekly wrap up. I, this is week three of July, I believe. So really, besides campaigning, my focus has been reading. And I have been focused on the Choose Your Own Adventure Readathon by Chelsea Zhao. However, first, before that readathon started, I finished reading the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society by Marianne Schaefers and Annie Bar Barrows. This is a reread for me. I actually first listened to this book as full cast audio and just fell in love with it and then eventually got a physical copy. So this is actually my first time reading the physical copy and I do want to say that if you're going to come to this book the first time, I would do the full cast. I think it's more engaging because this book is all letters. It's all epistolary and you don't always get the reply from the other person. And this book is really focused on Juliet, who is a writer. World War II is over and she's trying to figure out what she wants to write for her next book. She had great success being like a humorist writer during the war, but she's kind of looking to do something different. And while that is going on, a man writes her to ask if she can help him connect with a bookseller. And he had gotten her old address because he had ended up buying one of her old secondhand books. So in this one, she's writing letters to Dossie, who is that man, and ends up making friends with other people in Guernsey and finding out more about what World War II had been like for, like for them because they had been occupied by the Nazis. And just hearing the different histories of what had happened during the war and the different perspectives everybody who lived there had, especially those who are in this literary society, she ends up going to Guernsey as well. And again, we're seeing all of this through her letters to other people and whatnot. And it has a romance that blossoms in it as well. So I was kind of in a romantic mood still after finishing the science fiction self-published contest. So then I got into the Choose Your Own Adventure readathon and my first book prompt was to choose something shiny and I chose Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because there's some shiny elements on this cover. This is an omnibus. I only read the first book in here, which also works out for me because it is the first book from my 40 before 40 list that I have now finished. And Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams is an absurdist sci-fi space opera adventure that basically happens after Earth is destroyed and Ford saves his Earth, Earthling friend Arthur and they go out into space and have some adventures that Ford's enjoying because he's a hitchhiker and Arthur is like, what the hell has just happened? It's a lot of fun and I don't really think I can explain too much more than that without really getting into spoilers. It's one of those things that if you're going to read this book, know that the humor is a big part of it and you just are going to be along for the ride. It's not very long actually and I didn't realize that until I read it. Then for my next prompt, I had to choose a book with a weapon on it and I chose Spy Family Volume 3 and you can see her weapon right there. This is an adorable story. If you haven't read Spy Family at all, it's about a spy who has to get close to a target and so he has to infiltrate a private children's school and so he has to have a family. So he adopts a little girl and he gets married and he doesn't know that the little girl is a telepath and that his new wife is an assassin and they don't know that he's a spy. Well, the telepath does. The little girl knows because she can read both of their heads and it's just about a found family and now we're getting to watch Anya, the little girl, 
as she has now entered the school and is making friends and enemies and figuring out life. Then, what do I plan to read for this next week? I'm planning to read The Daughter of Dr. Moreau by Sylvia Moreno-Garcia, because this fits my next prompt for my readathon. And after that, I don't know. We shall see. For my writing wrap-up, I am currently not writing. Life has just been too busy with the campaign trail. And for other media, I watched Persuasion this past week. It was the 1995 version. And so I read the book Persuasion last July for the Jane Austen in July. They're doing that readathon again this month. I just knew I didn't have the bandwidth to do it but found this movie and I really enjoyed it. It was fun to kind of get to see it come to life, especially because I had been kind of so-so in the book. I mean, I liked it, but it didn't feel like it had the same magic as like Pride and Prejudice. And so I wasn't sure. I also know like Pride and Prejudice was towards the beginning of her writing career and Persuasion was at the very end. And I think it was right before she died. I could be wrong. I, I'm not a huge Jane Austen historian. It, it was fun to kind of get to see how things played out and how different choices she made in the book. Getting to see it visually represented it, it made more sense. Especially because Anne is a much quieter heroine. She, It seems like she's kind of going with the flow. And visually, then you got to see her like, yeah, I'm kind of annoyed with my sister for acting a fool and I'm kind of annoyed with this person over here. But she's trying to make the best of it because she knows that she's not actually in a position to make demands. And getting to see that made more sense with what I had read. So made me like it a little bit more. And then just continuing to watch Crime Scene Kitchen and MasterChef. <laughs> What am I planning to do in the future? I know in August I am going to be doing the Magical Readathon, the Equinox, oh, the Autumn Equinox. Probably still doing lots of mood reading otherwise around that. And then the campaign hits up more as well in August after the primary. So I'm going to be staying very, very busy. I hope you guys are having a great summer. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, winter if you're in the Southern and drink lots of water. Thank you and have a great day.